was Gucci fam was Gucci man was Gucci was Gucci it's your boy yo Mike back at it with another five video bro they trying me bro they trying me I can't try a real name bro I'm trying to tell them I'm trying to tell them I'm trying to tell them man hey but look y'all can see in the title it's no joke it's no games none of that shit um yeah, sorry about the Rolex video, guys. Guess what happened? So, uh, I was uh, I was I was recording the Rolex video, right? And uh, I think it was in like seven minutes of it, and that's when I threw the Rolex down. But I I switched it the camera, so I could see the Rolex like getting broken or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know what ended up happening. I don't know how. I ended up hitting like stop or whatever because I thought like maybe my camera was out of like I don't know. I went home to see the footage and I realized that we didn't get no footage to like good footage, you know, the the, the fun footage that I was waiting for. We were waiting and we got the diamond tested footage and all that stuff and guess what? I break I break the Rolex and I leave the store at the pawn shop. And I go all the way home and I realized that that shit wasn't even recording at past the seven minutes. And I recorded a whole like 18 minute video. Like it was, it was so messed up. So <sighs> I come back home from that. I come back home from that. I really do. And um, I remember uh, being so disappointed because I, I left the Rolex at the, at the pawn shop, right? Uh, so I already rolled up. Guys, I did this video already, but my angle was like so messed up. like. This light is bright as hell, so it makes me look like so white complected, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But I didn't like how white complected I look. Like, I look too, too white, you know what I'm saying? Nice, nice, baby. Hey, so look, um, what we talking about again? Oh yeah, I came home, and uh, I called him back to get my Rolex back because I didn't even get the footage, so I, I knew I had to get the, the Rolex back so I could do the video again, right? Make sure I had 18 plus if y'all sparking up, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I call him, he's like, yeah, come get it, yada, yada. I go, it's all destroyed, like, the thing's out of the place, and there's like scratch, it was all like, and even the glass, the glass thing, it was broken in there too. So I can't even put that back on, but what is on there still is the vessel. And I just probably like do it because this video again and probably probably um let y'all know exactly um I don't know, I, I forgot what I was about to say. But I, I, what I'm really trying to say is I'm gonna do that video again and just play it off like I bought the Rolex broken like that and that's why it was so cheap. But um, let me just explain to y'all how I bought that Rolex real quick, guys. Um, that way, when I do the video, it would just be straight 18 minutes of fun. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me explain to y'all how I bought that Rolex. That Rolex is old, like old, old, like 2017 old. And um, it's when I first got out, like I first you know, started making my money, I wanted to get a Rolex. And I saw it was $1,000 online on offer up. There was like five, six of them, seven of them, and I was seeing like there was Swiss made and there was this and that, and it was just like a bunch of work, and it was like they had certificates for it and stuff. So I, I, I had somebody, somebody a brand new Rolex, you know what I'm saying? Um, supposedly brand new, you know what I'm saying? But uh, for a thousand, so I go yadi yadi, and it needs some work done, like the dial or something like that, some some stuff like that, and plus like the date. The date thing wasn't working that good, so I already knew, like, kind of. I don't know. I wasn't gonna pay a thousand. That's for sure. And um, I ended up talking it down to a couple hundred dollars. And from there, it was just like I already knew what I was getting myself into, but I didn't care. You know, I had a rollie, like, regardless. And that shit didn't tick tock, but that doesn't mean that it was real. You know what I'm saying? Just because it didn't tick tock, that doesn't mean it was real. Um, I I kind of knew that, and like when I got home, even my girl was like, diamonds look too too perfect, like they're, they're all the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I don't know, it was just weird. So I, I kind of felt that way and I was like, damn, you doubted me like that. Anyway, I never got it tested because I was scared to like think think like that, you know what I'm saying? So one day I just like, I was like, fuck it. I went and tested on my jury. And of course I brought the Rolex and this shit was a replica. It's a replica Rolex, long story short. And um, I went back on offer up to see if I could hit the guy up and be like, hey, you didn't tell me it was a replica, you know what I'm saying? He used to talk about like, it was a Rolex and stuff. And um, I should have known, I mean, a thousand dollars too, like it had the big boogers on it. <coughs> but I didn't know about gold and diamonds, really. Like I didn't know if those are real diamonds or not. I don't know, like honestly. So um, what ended up happening was I just, I went to offer up and there's no Rolexes no more. Like none of those fake Rolexes are online no more. I don't know what happened, but it was like they shut that shit down. Cause people like me got scammed, you know what I'm saying? I really thought I was genuine or uh, whatever, however you say, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was good. But anyway, guys, let me tell y'all what happened last night. So, fuck, I was talking like that. Alright, so look, last night I was chilling, right? I was right here. And I just hear. Shit, so boom, I pop out the cut, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my peoples are like, what's up? I got a gun, motherfucker. Come on, come on in, come on in. What's up, what's up? I'm like, chill, go to the back, chill, go to the back. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh. Boom. What's up? What's up? You know what I'm saying? Just chilling right there, bro. But after that, it was like, it was like five, five attempts, and it was just like they weren't, they didn't try again. And it was like, it wasn't ever off guard because ever since I got set up, I've been sleeping with this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Excuse my language, guys. But I've been sleeping with this hoe, you know what I'm saying? I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been sleeping with this hoe. But, um, yeah, guys, so they tried to attempt that and then, like, I don't know, it was, it, it goes deeper than that, you know what I'm saying? There's no way it was just a random attempt. It's an inside job. So it, it goes deeper than than anything, you know, and um, I don't know guys, I want y'all to, I'm making this video for y'all to be prepared, put some uh, better locks on your doors, get some good locks, good wood strips, um, zombie bars, all that stuff guys, because you're going to need that, you know, in a situation. Let's say you're asleep. The stuff on my door now is going to like take them probably 20 minutes to get in. Real talk. And it's just probably like they need like a SWAT thing. And maybe they'll get in. Maybe. Just maybe. You know, because this is a fully steel door. Y'all don't even understand. So anyway, um, we're going to get it. We're going to get it, guys. Like we can't let this stuff slow slows down, you know. battery but we can't let this love slow us down because at the end of the day we got to keep on going you know nothing can slow you down and um god's great god's great you know he gave me this chance to wake up in the morning and just realize that i can go and get stuff for the security and be prepared like it was great that i'm prepared now you know Cause they could have got me off guard, but now I'm on point, and I've been on point, but like now I'm more on point. So, God's great. So I just want to take this time. It's Sunday. I just want to take this time to uh, do a little pray. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just thank you, Lord. You know, that's all I gotta say. Amen. Amen. Good. sad people are like it's sad america has to make videos like this it should never be like this we should all just be like combined and chill and i 
bet you it'll be a lot more better, you know? But honestly, guys, I'm a self-defense myself for my family, you know? And um, my bros and stuff, you know? And even my friends and anybody around me. Um, I don't want to see nobody die, you know what I'm saying? We've seen, we seen too many people die already. I don't want to be one of them. I don't want my friends to be one of them. I don't want my family to be one of them. New music on the way. I know the last track was kind of off, but new music is on the way. It was kind of off because we tried to hire the volume. At the same time, it kind of made it staticky. Like, I don't know, it's just kind of creepy. Creepy how technology works, man. But look, the next one's gonna be lit. It's gonna sound crisp. I'm gonna try to make it as crisp as possible. Y'all gotta remember when I recorded that one, I smoked two, three grand backwoods. So I was kinda lit. I was really lit, to be honest. Yeah, guys, that's what happened last night. I just wanted to make sure that y'all know that that's why I didn't do the Rolex video. Um, I did, but y'all y'all understand what happened. Um, like I really did. Like, let me see if I have the number that I called the pawn shop, and I could call them right now to verify what happened yesterday. Um, let me show y'all. Fudge, which one was it? Oh. for this one.